western range of the bathhouse contained a series of heated rooms and plunge pools. The development of suites of heated rooms at both the western and eastern ends of the site may have allowed simultaneous use of the site by both men and women, but maintained a seemly separation of facilities for them. The West Baths contains an exceptionally well-preserved set of billy which were piles of tiles through which hot air circulated to heat the floor and walls of the room above. This model shows the Roman baths at their greatest extent in the 4th century AD. In the centre you have the Great Bath and this is overlooked today by the terrace. Uh, you can see the huge barrel vaulted roof that stretches over the top and you can actually see the buildings that extend to the east and the west uh, of the Great Bath. Today as you walk around Bath, the remains of these are beneath your feet under the city streets. On the other side you have the temple itself. Now this is the roof that's covering the sacred spring itself, so it's the, the spring building. Now the spring uh, is natural geothermal spring, it's heated by the centre of the earth and it bubbles up, naturally feeding uh, the Roman baths themselves with hot water. Now this is also attached to the temple precinct, in the centre of which you have the temple of Solis Minerva herself. And this is all tied up with the worship of the water.